Welcome to this tutorial video of Vision LiDAR 2020 for volume calculation. In this quick video, I will show you how to make volume calculation in your projects via our new tool, Volume Computation, which can be found in Tools, Volume Computation. You have the option to do the volume computation with two scans or with one scan. When you select between two scans, you put the oldest one in scan 1 and the newest one in scan 2. Then, in volume parameters, you have an option for boundary between concave hull and convex hull. When concave is selected, the outline will be drawn as close as possible to the point cloud following the edges. When you select convex hull, the software will link the extremities together like this and like this. So all those empty spaces will be taken into consideration for volume computation. Then you have a geometric operator. Basically, in this drop box, you can select between intersects and union. Intersects mean we will calculate the volume at the intersection of both scan for everything which is located between the green and red. Otherwise, union will calculate the volume on both scan together. Then we have the swell factor. With this, you can calculate the accurate volume by adding a swell factor, which will take into consideration the compression of the materials. For example, if you are building a road, you can use the swell factor to calculate the exact amount of material required to fill a hole. Then we go to interpolation parameters. The first one will determine the precision on the map of the volume calculation. So in the grid cell size, it will determine the size of the cell for which we will calculate the volume. For this example, we will take 10 cm. The k nearest neighbors is used to determine the number of points to take for the interpolation. In this example, we will take the 10 nearest points when we will do the interpolation. Power is the factor that will determine how much more important the nearest neighbors are compared to the farthest neighbors. In general, those last two parameters are left unchanged, except for specific projects. Once the parameters have been set, you only have to click on Compute Volume. Once the calculations are done, it will display a heat map, which in blue, the area for which materials has been removed, in green, the area left unchanged, and in red, the area for which materials have been added. If you want a better visual, you can always click on Open Heat Map, which will display a full-size image. And this concludes our tutorial video of Vision LiDAR 2020 for volume calculation.